This is from Red Buffalo Brewing Company in downtown Statesville. So I am now live for the NASCAR live chat with him. We're gonna talk some NASCAR. We're gonna also introduce you to Joe Bondi, the owner, proprietor of this uh, awesome place right here that we have a lot of live music that gets played right down here on this stage. And uh, so we'll just jump right in. If you don't know me, my name is David Ham, 25 year NASCAR engine builder, recently retired uh, two months ago. And I was also a dealership technician for five years before that, seven, seven year jack man. And uh, now I'm the owner of Hamscapes. All right, so I was gonna do a little, the cold beer, warm beer. Speaking of cold beer, we've got Joe Bonnie and you came in just in time because we're talking about, uh, we're talking about beer now. So welcome to Joe Bondi, everybody. Uh, the owner, or is it proprietor? Is that what you? Yeah, call? whatever. Just, you want to call. Uh, yeah, entrepreneur. Oh, they extraordinary. all extraordinary. Yeah, there you take go. Take out the extraordinary dollars. <laughs> well, I think he's Hi, got everyone. some really good beer, and he's actually got some. He's going to tell us about some of the stuff we got coming up. Yeah, we we do have uh, two beer releases this month, um, which we're really proud of. Actually, one is actually a re-release, which is. Re -release. Uh, the uh, States Vegas uh, Sunset Ale, and uh, that comes out on uh, the, 20, the 20th, which is a Wednesday. And the 29th, we have a really special beer coming out. Um, really special beer. With the Chillbillies. All right. Uh, 92.9 FM Wham, and uh, right AM 550 street. across the street from us. And uh, that was uh, prou proudly named by uh, Kudzu over there. And it's called Raisin Hail, which is H apostrophe A L E. So a little play on words. Uh, we're really looking forward to that one. And we're going to have a release party on the 29th of August. Uh -huh. So that, along with all our other beer releases, we usually have a good time and a nice little party. Yeah, hopefully you guys can come down here or come around because uh, Chad Hatter says Chill Billies. And Chad was just in town. Uh, I guess it's been about a month ago. So, and, uh, and Rachel and Paul and uh, Tom. All of, most of these people on here listening in have been, they come from far and away. So we'll bring them in here. Hope so, hope so. If, if you can't come and taste the beer, at least, uh, you know, maybe you'll, you'll be doing a live feed at some point. You'll I will. hopefully see some of the festivities. Jeannie Stevens is watching in. She'll be here. I guarantee <laughs> okay. you she'll be in. She's yeah. the one that, that Billy Buck has a lot of trouble saying her name, Jeannie, Janine, and all this stuff, because it's spelled. J E A. It looks like genie to me. Is that? Correct? Yeah, it does to me too. You know Billy, but uh, Billy has Billy has issues. <laughs> uh, Scott Travis says, "Oh yeah, Scott Travis. You know beer man, Scott Travis. He says my cold red buffalo beer goes to Happy Harvard, and my warm Miller Lite goes to Clint Porter. Yeah, we're gonna. <laughs> so we have this thing. Uh, Scott helps me out a lot of times on this YouTube show. You're welcome. And, uh, welcome, genie. Yeah. <laughs> He, Scott does a lot of, he helps me out on this YouTube show a lot of times. Sometimes it's a ham and beer man. But right now he's back and forth between here and Florida. Because he, he goes out on his boat and goes fishing a lot of days. Good and stuff. So, nice. Yeah, I know, exactly. So he come up with this warm, cold beer, warm beer things that we've been doing here lately. So um, I bet I do a cold beer and then I'll let you tell the rest of your, what you got going on. Okay. If that works for you. I'm gonna yes, give, Brad. I'm going to do a cheer for the cold beer right, right quick. You can read some of these. Sure. Um, so Kevin Harvick, he gets a cold beer because he has won two of the last four races after having a long dry spell this year. Uh, came back from a flat tire and a loose wheel. And then also Denny Hamlin, he finished second to Harvick and had his fifth top five finish, has collected 273 points in seven races. Hamlin has been the most consistent. All right, so that's two cold beers. What you got, Joe? We, we besides beer, we, we also have wine and ciders and all that, but we really um, take a lot of pride in having all different kinds of music here. Uh, we have some awesome music coming up this weekend, uh, the Eli Yasmith Trio, and if you don't know Eli, he's a young talent out of state, so he's played at the Grand Ole Opry. I mean, this kid is really talented, but he's going to bring um, two other guys, so it's going to be a trio here. Uh, so I haven't heard his trio. Friday. I've heard you, Eli, you seen it. You know, he's had another guy with him, but now he's actually got a trio, so he's expanding. Yeah, it's um, he is a really ta very talented guy, but just like any performer, when you have a team of people playing in sync, um, it's kind of special, so we're really looking forward to that. And uh, we had Lead Not Follow coming back on Saturday, and both those showtimes start at uh, 8 o'clock, and if you haven't ever heard of uh, Lead Not Follow, great 
great band, play a lot of the classics, you know, from the 70s and 80s. Yeah, old Lee Troutman on that guitar, oh, yeah. guitar. He's yeah. pretty awesome on that thing. So looking forward to that. But yeah, just a lot of good music and uh, hopefully good beer and a lot of good spirits. Mm -hmm. so. And you just had uh, Josh Perryman in here too, right? Josh Perryman was Saturday. here was, uh, was Saturday night and that was, uh, that was great. And hats off to the Metro Jethro's that were here. And Friday night, they brought the house down. It was so much fun. Yeah, I came over here Friday night. Me and Kudzu and Kathy were, were drinking some beer, beer and hanging out. And, and uh, yeah, it was packed house, packed house. Yeah, it so was a lot of fun. Uh, Belle was talking about Josh and she was talking about how amazing he was. She was sitting back here at this table and the whole place was packed. And if you don't know Josh Perryman, I've got a video on here and maybe I'll put it on the link right up here. It'll pop up here. If you go on Red and, Buffalo's Facebook page, mm -hmm. there's a little video of him Saturday night. And, Josh is one of those really interesting guys that he can take music and twist it into his form, which is a little different. And I think Val said it best. Not only does he play the guitar, he's making love down there to those foot pedals. Yeah. <laughs> and, and he does some crazy things. So yes. he's really enjoyable. So, and he's coming back. I'm not going to announce the date, though, but he is coming back. Oh, man, I'll be so, here. He uh, plays some Bow Wow pedals or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. He's yeah. good. <laughs> But I do have I have a couple of videos on here and you know, he's, uh, yeah. you want a sample of, of his music. He's very good. All right, while you you get some more stuff together, okay. I'll, I'll go ahead and go over uh, Sounds good. some more cold beer. Scott Graves, Ryan Newman's crew chief, which is one of our local boys, Ryan Newman. He's got Rescue Ranch out here. Uh, he called his driver in for fuel with 24 laps to go. It proved helpful as he ran out of gas coming off of turn four and finished 12th. So he just got in the top 12. Once again, though, finishing close to the top 10 where he's been consistent. And uh, that allows him to help to pass Jimmy Johnson in the points uh, more, more concretely. Um, so yeah, and then also pass Clint Boyer, Boyer this week since Clint had his issues. So, uh, and then Ryan Priest had a top 10 finish coming in seventh, another cold beer. And then I'll do one more cold beer and let you finish uh, so, and Ty Dillon, who had his second best finish of the season, finishing 11th. He's doing a lot better than his brother. His brother has had nothing but bad luck. All right, what you got, Joe? Well, this week, uh, Thursday, uh, the Chamber of Commerce, which uh, is an organization that promotes local business, and they're having a function here this coming Thursday from 5 to 7. We'll, of course, have some beer and other beverages, uh, but there will also be some food here. So if you want to come and visit us, um, chow down on some free food and, and enjoy that. But I'm going to put a challenge yeah, out here. Right? Here's another challenge. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm ready. For on the Wednesday, on Wednesday, if someone comes in and says hamscapes, mm -hmm. I will donate a dollar of every beverage that they order to. You got a charity you like? Uh, Local charity. How about? Uh, Fifth Street Ministries. Fifth Street Ministries. Okay. So anyone that comes in Wednesdays, this coming Wednesday, which is the 14th, yeah. will donate a dollar for every drink they order to Fifth Street Ministries. All right. Good deal. Sounds like a good right. deal right there. And we also have on the 22nd, talking of uh, charities and, and just great organizations in the community, Scan of Iredell. County is going to be here on uh, Thursday the 22nd and that'll be from 5 to 9 o'clock so I'll come and support them and that's a great organization like they always. Scan of Iredale. Iredale County. Correct. All right. Very nice Joe. That sounds good and the uh, St. Chamber of Commerce is near and dear to your heart. Absolutely. That's right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it should be to all of us. All of us. Absolutely. I have a special connection with my fiance works. So that's right. right. Yes. So we should get her in here soon. Oh, I think boy. she's She's probably me. taking a bubble bath and maybe <laughs> drinking a glass of wine right now, you think? So I'm going to sign off with you. Thanks so you much. Can. Yeah, if you're, if you're done, if you've got done. something else to talk about, I'm going to uh, go on to the warm beers now. Yeah, right. um, yeah we're looking we'll, forward to the next month's coming, but thank yeah. you for having me. Thanks yeah. for coming here. Absolutely, and, uh, man. We'll, we'll be coming out with our winter beers, beers soon, uh, winter September, beers. October. We're going to experiment with uh, some stouts and some porters, so uh, looking forward to it. That sounds really good. Right. I know I enjoyed your uh, the summer shanty. Was it the summer shanty? It's still on, still yeah. on the tap for yeah. uh, next and, several weeks. And, my, uh, and I think my my favorite is the red IPA, or uh, yeah, yeah, and the red IPA, and the, and also when you do it, um, 
who guided the blonde into it and called it a redhead stepchild. The redhead stepchild is a combination <laughs> of our red IPA and our mouthy blonde. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the mouthy blonde who coincidentally works behind the counter also. Right? Don't tell her that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank Great being out here. Right. Take care. Awesome. Bye. Thank you, Joe. I want to thank Red Buffalo Brewing Company. Check them out. Check them out on the Facebook. And uh, and so we'll, we'll be coming back in here, I'm sure. Uh, here's the other side of the Sorry. But the bar is over in that area. But it's a it's a really nice bar, really, really cool bar top. Uh, lots of stuff going on in here. Like Joe said, always got some live music going on. It's always a happening place. You know, look, I'll turn this camera around. You can see right out the window. And you can see right across the street there is Randy Marion Studio. All right, got some Wilson's Weenie Wagon swag right there. All right. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in, and we will see you next time. Have a great rest of the night and a great rest of the week. Good night.